Hello Aries, and welcome to your reading, <clears throat> and welcome to review. So I'm going to get started with the Butterfly Oracle cards for life changes. And let's see what changes are going to either come through for you guys, or changes that you need to make. Alright, God, what messages do you have for the collective of the Aries? Alright, so I'm seeing realizations and epiphanies and end of an era. So of course, going into this new year of 2024, it's an ending. I'm hearing this endings and new beginnings coming. But I'm also hearing with the realizations and epiphanies, you're going to find out some truths about people around you or about yourself. I'm hearing friendships in particular. Who's really there for you? Who's really real? Who really has your back? Um, because some of you guys might have some fake friends around you. My God, what messages do you have for the collective of Aries? Any more messages? All right, thank you. All right, let's go. Family changes. All right, some of you guys I'm hearing could be having children. Um, it could be getting pregnant again if you already have kids. Some of you guys I'm also hearing like marriage or, um, a relationship like going to the next level. For some of you guys, or that's what you're wanting, or someone who's wanting that with you. You have religion and spirituality. I'm hearing um, opening yourself up more to the possibilities around you um, and not being so closed off. Some of you guys who are watching this, maybe you've, like you haven't watched a lot of readings before. I'm hearing maybe you're not really a believer in certain things. Um, but I'm hearing ask and you shall receive. So you might start seeing like different signs popping up. Okay, healing from the past. Yeah, so you're putting an end, you know, that end of an era and moving forward. Some of you guys really need to heal. I'm hearing childhood traumas, um, old wounds, things of that sort that you've been holding on to for a while. That butterfly is so pretty. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Heavenly signs, that's so crazy. I was just talking about that. Yeah, like, so if there will be some signs for you guys that are going to come through and you're going to see. All right, then we have to take the next step now. So there's something that you've been wanting to do, whether this is a relationship with some of you guys. Some of y'all, it's like a new opportunity, wanting a, a different type of job, wanting, I'm hearing to move like into different industries or do something you've never done before. This could be like, I'm hearing musically for some of y'all. I'm hearing books for some of you guys, like publishing or something like that. If that's what you're into, whatever it is, it's something creative that you're wanting to do. Um, I'm hearing, you know, you should go for it. Believe in yourself. We have dietary change. So, definitely, some of you guys are going on a diet or wanting to lose weight this year. Or going um, to lose a lot of weight this year. But I'm hearing specifically drinking more water because you've been consuming way too much soda. Too much caffeine. Um, I'm hearing it could be very addicting. Um, and that's been like a problem for some of you guys. But okay, everybody, obviously. <laughs> I'm also hearing your weight has been fluctuating a lot. Um, for some of you guys, you could have, like, PCOS, um, like myself. I do have a video on that on my channel. Or, like, it could be, like, something else. Like, I'm hearing, like, diabetes or something, and you're needing to make, make a change. I'm hearing make choices for better decisions for yourself. All right. So, the next deck I'm going to use is the Shock of Wisdom Oracle Cards. I'm going to see what other messages come through. All right, God, thank you so much for the messages that have come through. That's why I look at your quest and your passion coming out together. I'm hearing finding which pathway, how to move forward. Um, it's kind of like your focus on what you need to start focusing on. We have prayer here and passion. So, yeah, again, ask when you shall receive. Pray for guidance if you need it on which way to move forward. Some of you guys, I feel like you might be rejected. For whatever it is that you're passionate about and you want to work on. And like in this funny because I was saying creatively, and if you looked at that picture, it's like he's an artist, right? So some of you guys are definitely doing something creative and you might be afraid of rejection. I mean, I mean don't be look and he pops out again. Don't be afraid of rejection or what people might say. I'm hearing you just need to like have faith in yourself. And you just continue to do what you're passionate about, what you love doing, no matter what the naysayers say, right? All right, let's see. What messages do you have for Aries? Oh, this one pops up. 
Whoa. <laughs> Workaholic really wants to pop out. Some of y'all are really working hard. And look at that. Behind that is the gossip. Yeah, so again, some of y'all are really worried about what other people got to say. Mary, don't worry about what people have to say. Continue to do your work. Look at that. Workaholic service. You know, what you're doing is going to help people. For some of y'all, some of y'all, this is really going to help your family. Um, this is going to help set you up for life. Even it's an old age for some of y'all. We have complacency. Yeah, some of you guys have been kind of feeling stuck. Feeling like you don't know how to move forward. But that's why I feel like um, that prayer card has came and the quest has came. You know, ask for guidance on how to move forward. Ask for guidance or, you know, signs of which way to go, what to do, right? Um, but I feel like you're going to get out of that stagnant energy eventually. Some of you guys are there because it's, it's like hermit mode, I'm hearing. Some of you guys are also like in this kind of stuck energy to figure it out what it is that you need to heal from the past to move forward in the best way possible. Because you don't want to bring old old baggage, I'm hearing, to new destinations. All right, then we have growth here. So some of you guys are definitely growing um, and really making new things. And it's crazy. I never noticed this before, but it says emergency room. So yeah, maybe some of you guys, but the doctors are going to tell you news on how to like, you know, improve your health. And I'm hearing again for like diabetes or somebody. Just confusion. Yeah, some of you guys been in this confused energy of like how to move forward, what to do, how to get to this dream, this goal of yours. But I feel like you can get out of that. Look, despondence. Again, feeling stuck. This is crazy. Stuck, stagnant energy. But at the same time, this is like Mother Earth is like trying to show you the way, trying to help guide you. Um, but this person just looks upset. So stop focusing on the negative. Focus more on the positive. Focus on the signs that are there. Because there is some help coming forward on how to move forward, on what to do next. We have soulmate here. Some of you guys, this is like a new connection coming through. Or connecting with your, with your soulmate. The more that you heal, they're healing as well. Wow, look at this, the quest, yeah, that's so crazy. Yeah, you're going to figure out which way to go. This is the path forward to this new beginning. That's the path to, like, the past or it's staying in that side of energy. The, I'm hearing the decision is yours. It's all about your mindset. It's all about the work that you're willing to put in. It's all about, you know, your outlook on things as well. And, that, of course, it's part of your mindset. I'm also hearing it's also about your emotions and... That's my dog playing with her toy, guys. <laughs> um, it's also about, like, your emotions and getting yourself in a balanced state of mind. <clears throat> it's going to be very helpful for you guys. <clears throat> I'm also hearing needing to express yourself more. Whether this is creatively or emotionally, whatever it is, needing to, like, um, express yourself. And I feel like you'll know what that means. Because it'll be different for each person. Alright, so now we're going to go into this last deck. Just to get some positive messages for you guys. Real quick. Thank you guys for the messages that have come through. Please give me some positive messages for Aries. To close out this reading for them. Right. Oh yeah, and just so you guys know, I'm going into February. I'm going to be doing love readings per usual. Like my annual, um, and then March is going to be all about the money for each of the zodiac signs, so um, definitely stay tuned to that. I'm also hearing for you guys who have like Scorpio patients or dealing with Scorpios, um, to look into that reading. I'm hearing if you're like a Scorpio rising, Venus, Jupiter, I'm also hearing like a um, self note, okay. Let's get into it. Boom. Before my time runs out. Yeah. <laughs> Thankful. All right. Anyways, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. My vibes speak louder than words. Yes. Okay. When I lean toward love, I am led. All right, guys. So that has been your reading. Thank you all for watching.